Yeah, protein. We know you love protein. Protein rocks. Awesome. Protein rocks. Protein. 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 Hello guys, it's Shin Game Plays. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Well, even though I'm kind of sick today, no, it's not COVID, but anyway, I'm kind of sick today. I really, really wanted to make this video since lots of people have been asking me in my previous video of the 21.9.1 drivers if they could use Sam, what they need to use Sam. Anyway, they basically want to know if they can use Sam or not in their systems. So I will be telling you what you need to actually use Sam after the 21.9.1 drivers, right after the sponsor of today's video. For today's sponsor, we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16, and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account, and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. So Sam is smart access memory. Basically what Sam does is that um, it will uh, manage the VRAM on your GPU in a different way. Imagine that the game needs one gigabyte VRAM. That means that uh, the computer would have to make four calls of 256 me megabytes to actually be able to get one gigabyte of, of VRAM. Basically yeah, since the maximum was 256 megabytes to call one gigabyte VRAM uh, you, you would actually need to make four calls that would take more time that would take um, that would take latency that would take resources let's say that uh, so imagine if you wanted to make even more calls let's say two gigabytes you would have to make eight calls okay four gigabytes you would have to make even more calls, so 16 calls. What happens with smart access memory is that you can fully use your VRAM now. Imagine if your if your GPU has 8 gigabytes VRAM, you can make one call of 8 gigabytes VRAM instead of needing to make like 32 calls of, of 256 megabytes. So yeah, basically that reduces uh, the processes needed, the latency, the number of calls, and increasing the performance and so on, so on, so on. And in games that do need to make lots of transfers in terms of VRAM, smart access memory will indeed help a lot. And that's why you see the performance boost, okay? That's what it is, basically. So when smart access memory was released, it was only working with Ryzen 5000 series and X570 motherboards, and of course, are the NA2 GPUs, so they are X6000 series. Then it started working with B450 motherboards, B550 motherboards, and also Ryzen 3000 and 4000 series, which are the APUs, the 4000 series, still Zen 2, and even the Intel CPUs, like for example, the 10th or 11th generation of Intel processors and it is I think it works down to the, to the seventh generation of Intel processors so you can use it on Intel processors Ryzen 3000 and Ryzen 5000 with B450, uh, B550 and of course X470 and X570 motherboards okay anything from the previous generation like the X370 and so on well you just can't use smart access memory unless you kind of install a BIOS from another motherboard, another chipset like a B450 and so on, so on, so on. Yeah, but even with all these CPUs and motherboards, the only GPUs that were actually working with smart access memory were the RX 6000 series, so the RDNA 2 cards. And yesterday the AMD released the 21.9.1 drivers that actually released the usage of smart access memory to the RX 5000 series. And basically that's it. First, you need to go into BIOS and actually activate the above 4G decoding option and then the resizable bar. If you have these motherboards, these CPUs and these GPUs, okay, you just go to your BIOS you enable the above 4G decoding and then the resizable bar. If the above 4G decoding or resizable bar does not appear, it means that you actually need to update your motherboard BIOS. Go to your manufacturer's website, uh, choose your model, download the BIOS, update the BIOS, and then the above 4G decoding and the resizable bar option will appear. 
usually they are on the on the advanced options if the advanced options do not appear just usually it's like f7 press f7 you'll have the advanced options go to the advanced menu and you actually have something like pci pcie pci menu something like that you go there you enable the above 4g decoding once again and then the resizable var that's how you do it okay after that install the 21.9.1 drivers if you have the RX 5000 series. If you have the older, the older ones, you can use older drivers if you already have these installed, uh, these selected on BIOS, the above 4G decoding and the resizable bar. Basically, the resizable bar is the non-branding name for smart access memory, okay? So that's basically what you need, an Intel CPU from the seventh generation and above, Ryzen 3000, Ryzen 5000, and I think that some users with Ryzen 2000 can enable the smart access memory just from what i saw in the comments of the previous video that may be a new thing of course um a b450 x5470 sorry b550 and x570 motherboard um and of course the rx6000 series or the rx5000 series that's what you need to enable sam and then bias above 4g decoding and resizable bar if it does not appear go and update your BIOS. You also need to be in UFI mode instead of the older mode, the legacy mode. You need to be UFI mode and with CSCM compatibility disabled, okay? That's all you need. It seems way more complicated, way more complicated than it is, sorry. Uh, but if you search on the internet, it is really, really easy to do. So don't sweat it. And well, guys, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching the, the video of a hill guy, of a sick guy. Not in terms of mentality, but just sick in terms of body. Just for a few hours because I will get cringiness apart, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Yeah, now you know how to enable smart access memory.